Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Lay down and make sure that you're completely comfortable and you're laying still and quiet and calm. It was an ordinary day down at the bottom of the ocean. Nothing out of the usual was happening. Lily, the mermaid, was swimming around talking to the fish, checking out the coral, doing her normal thing, when all of a sudden, something started to glisten as it fell very quickly down through the water and landed on the sand right there next to her. She bent down and picked it up was a snow globe. A snow globe with a dandelion inside. The dandelion had turned to seed and it had the words written on it, make a wish. Lily had absolutely no idea what this was, but she was intrigued and very excited. She swam with the snow globe over to where all her friends were swimming and talking and hanging out together. And she announced, look what I've just found. Does anybody know what this thing is? Ella, one of her friends, took a hold of it and shook it. She said, it's a snow globe. I've heard about these things. They're super fun. Shake it and it snows, look. Everyone gathered around. Lily, Ella, Daisy, Emma, Ariel, Bella, and Marissa were all very close friends. And they all gathered around as Ella showed them how to shake the snow globe. When she shook the snow globe, the snow moved around inside of the globe and it trickled and tickled and fell all around the dandelion and all around the words, make a wish. But at the same time, there were tiny little sparks of light coming from the words, make a wish. Ella said, I've seen and heard of snow globes before, but I've never seen one that sparkles like this. Emma said, shake it, shake it again and see what happens. Ella shook the snow globe and again it sparkled. Bright sparkling lights came off the words, make a wish. Lily said, I wonder if it wants us to make a wish. Should we try it? With that, Lily announced, maybe we should all get organized because if this thing is magical, which I think it is, why else would it fall from the sky and land right there next to me? If it is a magical snow globe and we do get to make a wish, I think we should all get very organized and decide exactly what it is that we should wish for. What if we only get one wish? We don't want to waste it on something that's silly and pointless. We want to make it so that our wish that we want to come true is the most important thing to us ever. Well said, said Bella. Let's all think about this very intently and make our wish the wish that really, really, really is important to us. With that, they all swam very closely together. They put their heads together 
and talked intently on what their wish would be. They decided that since Lily found the snow globe, she would be the one to go first. Lily held the globe tightly in her hand and announced to all the other mermaids, I've always wanted to be a ballerina. I've always wanted to have feet and dance and wear a tutu and have magical ballerina slippers. And my magical ballerina slippers would be magic because whenever I span and jumped, I would be able to jump so high that the crowds and crowds of people all watching in the firm, famous Marlinsky Opera House would all be absolutely amazed and in awe at how high I could jump because I had magical ballerina slippers on. That's my wish. I wish that I was dancing in the Swan Lake in the Malinsky Opera Theatre, the famous opera house. And there were hundreds and hundreds of people in the crowd watching me and I was wearing my magical ballet slippers that would make me jump higher than the clouds. With that, she closed her eyes and took a deep breath. And when she took her deep, deep breath, she made the wish. She said it out loud and announced it to all of the mermaids and she shook the snow globe. The snow globe did something very magical. The snow inside of the snow globe started to twirl as if it was in a whirlpool. It got very, very, very fast and all of a sudden light hit everyone intently. Big beams of sparkling light came off the snow globe. The snow globe landed on the ground and Lily was inside of it, dancing on stage with her magical ballet slippers. She was dancing the Swan Lake to perfection. Everyone couldn't believe their eyes. Oh, it worked, said the crowd of mermaids. Oh my goodness, the snow globe is magical. They all gathered around and watched Lily do the most perfect dance they had ever seen and when she jumped the crowds clapped loudly sometimes they even all stood up it was the most perfect dance they had ever seen they watched all the way to the end as the crowds stood on their feet clapping and cheering Lily and her magical ballet slippers and then with another bright flash of light, Lily was back in the ocean next to them. Ella and Daisy both said at the same time, It's my turn, it's my turn, it's my turn. Luckily, they both had the same wish. And their wish was to do gymnastics at the Olympics. They both closed their eyes, they held hands, and with their other hand, they both held the globe together, and they announced to the mermaids, we want to be the best gymnastics ever. We want to do the gymnastics at the Olympics and win the gold medal. And they both took a nice deep breath and shook the snow globe. And again, the snow inside the snow globe 
did a magical twist and whirled into a whirlpool and very quickly span and span and span and span and then all of a sudden a big flash of light the snow globe fell to the earth fell to the sand at the bottom of the ocean and all of the other mermaids watched intently as Ella and Daisy did the best gold medal winning gymnastics routine that anyone had ever seen in the history of all gymnastics. They did a floor routine, they did backflips, they did jumps, they did twists, they did turns, they did lifts, they did spins, they did everything. And because it was their wish, they stood there at the end, in the middle of bronze, silver and gold. They stood there on the gold block and accepted their gold medal. And as they did so, the crowds roared, they clapped, they were all on their feet. And Ella and Daisy was smiling biggest smiles that they had ever smiled. It was their best moment ever. All of a sudden, the light flashed and Ella and Daisy were back there with the mermaids at the bottom of the ocean. Next came Emma and Ariel. It's our turn, it's our turn. Can we go next? Can we go next? We have the same wish too. They held hands. They took a deep breath. And they announced to the snow globe and the other mermaids that their wish was to be rollerblading. They wanted to be in the roller derby and have feet and be able to rollerblade really, really fast and have so much fun in the roller derby in a competition against a bunch of other rollerbladers doing their thing. The light flashed. The snow globe fell to the bottom of the ocean and everyone gathered round and watched as Emma and Ariel did the best rollerblading anyone had ever seen. Of course they were on the team that won and of course they had the bestest time in the world and of course they were the happiest mermaids ever because they had feet and they got to rollerblade and they were making a wish come true that they never ever thought would possibly happen. The mermaids watched for the longest time until the end of the game where Emma and Ariel's team won the game, won the medal. Flash of light. Emma and Ariel were back smiling, laughing, snuggling in to all the other mermaids when Bella said, it's my turn. Bella had something very serious, something very important that she wanted to do with her wish. She wanted to be on land. She wished she could be on a computer And while she was on a computer, she wished that she could find out all the information that she could possibly find out on how to protect the dolphins. That was her wish. That was what she was passionate about. There were so many dolphins in captivity, so many dolphins in zoos and sea worlds and places where Bella believed they shouldn't be. 
Bella wanted all the dolphins safe back in the ocean, but she needed a computer, and she needed to do some research to find out how she could possibly do that. She held the snow globe very tightly and announced her wish to the other mermaids in the snow globe, and with a flash of light, Bella was inside of the globe, sat at a desk, doing research very intently. All the other mermaids gathered around and watched the snow globe there on the sand at the bottom of the ocean. They watched for a while. Bella looked very serious but at the same time she looked very happy that she was accomplishing so much and gaining so much information from using the computer and using the internet and searching after searching after searching all of the research that she could possibly research and when she felt like she had enough information that she could bring back to the other mermaids to share, to help to save the dolphins. bright flash of light happened and but Bella was back in the ocean next to the other mermaids finally it was Marissa's turn Marissa had always wanted to sing Marissa could sing as a mermaid and she sang the sweetest tunes and her voice would bring fish and creatures and mermaids and mermen from all around in the ocean. Her voice was so sweet. But her wish was to sing in an opera house. It was to stand on stage with feet in a beautiful glittery silver gown that shimmered under the lights she wanted to sing to crowds of people but she was very specific about her wish she wanted to sing in Italy on the famous stage the La Scala in Milan the famous opera house where only the best opera singers would sing that was her wish. She held the globe in her hand and she was so excited that she was about to make it happen. She shook the globe, closed her eyes and took a big deep breath and announced to, to all of the ocean what her wish was. The snow in the snow globe swirled and twirled and formed a whirlpool very, very fast. And then, a giant flash of light. Everyone was watching. Marissa, the mermaid, that was no longer a mermaid. She was actually a famous opera singer, singing in the theater in Italy, in her silver glittery dress for hundreds and hundreds of people and when she finished they all rose up in their seats and clapped and cheered and Marissa held a bunch of flowers that someone had given her and bowed gracefully it was the most happiest moment of her entire life and she couldn't believe that her wish had come true. And then all of a sudden, a bright light happened once again and Marissa was back with the mermaids. All of them were swimming in circles. They were all holding hands all talking at once about their experience and how each one of them couldn't believe that their wish had just come true by this magical snow globe, the 
that seemed to come from nowhere that landed at the bottom of the ocean right next to Lily. I mean, how cool is that? For days and days and days, all they could do were talk about their experience. What was interesting was they were so wrapped up in talking about what had happened to them that none of them realized that when Marissa's wish came true and the snow globe fell back down to the sand at the base of the ocean that it somehow got swept away where the snow globe went no one will ever know after a few days of talking about it and being so excited they actually thought about going back and making a wish all over again but that wasn't to be they were only allowed one wish and when they told all the other mermaids and all the other mermen and all of the fish everyone wanted to experience and make a wish from the snow globe but it wasn't there anymore it was gone it vanished just as quickly as it appeared it was as if Lily Ella Daisy Emma Ariel Bella and Marissa were the only ones that would get the magical wish from the snow globe it was as if it was meant to be for some reason those mermaids were the luckiest mermaids in all of the oceans that day they don't know how it happened they don't know why it happened but it definitely happened and to this day they still talk about their experience and how they got to live out their wish. I wonder what you would do if you got to make a wish with the magical snow globe. Hmm, let's think about that as you lay down. You can roll on your left or your right side. It's time to snuggle up and go to sleep. It's time to completely relax. Let your head get heavy in your pillow. Close your eyes if you haven't done so already. It's time to imagine what magical wish you would create if you had the chance. What would you be? Where would you go? What would you do? Let your shoulders get heavy and sleepy and relaxed.
as you relax your tummy, your ribs, your back. your legs get really heavy and comfortable. Your feet get sleepy and tired, even your toes are relaxed. Your entire body 